Hey friends, happy Friday. Let's not forget that today is Celebration Friday. We want to celebrate you in whatever it was that you accomplished this week. Give yourself a pat on the back and say, good job self. You are proud, 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 because I'm sure there's something that you did that is worth celebrating. So we celebrate you today. Um, today's message, guess where we're going with today's message? We are staying on identity. Why? because um, I was listening to a call on the Empowering Mentoring page, and they had a guest on there last Sunday, um, who was a pastor, Joshua Finley, and guess what the Lord was leading him to talk about? Identity. So I thought, okay, the Lord wants to camp in identity for a while, so we're gonna camp there. I just wanted to share um, some points that he had made because they were so impactful, because he actually um, brought it from a from a perspective of when heaven knows your name. Isn't that so good? When heaven knows your name, he says, you have to be who you are because everyone else is taken, right? You were created for a purpose, for his purpose and nobody else. He says that when knowing that heaven knows your name breeds confidence. And you know what it made me, um, it, it kind of reminded me, I like to go into the store and call people by name. I'll go, hi, Brittany, or hi, so-and-so, whoever's waiting on me. And it immediately just gives them a sense of posture that just changes. They smile and you can see their wheels are turning because they, they think, well, how does she know me? I don't, really, I don't really know her. But they light up. There's something about hearing your own name um, called out. There's just something so special about that. So when heaven... Knowing that heaven knows your name breeds confidence, okay? It breeds authenticity into your destiny. You're able to act the person that you're meant to be because you believe who you are. And you 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 avoid trying to be somebody else and trying to act somebody else because that kind of makes us look foolish at times when we're really uncomfortable trying to be somebody we're not. Not good. So um, you were made on purpose for a purpose by him. The Bible says you were knit together in your mother's room, right? And he knew you before your parents even ever met you. God already knew you were a champion before you even came to this earth. Isn't that special? And it's a, he said, it's impossible for us to behave consistently in a manner that is inconsistent with the way that we believe, right? You cannot pretend to do something or behave in a certain manner for a long period of time when it's really not something that you believe. You always go back to acting the way that you truly believe um, about yourself. So that's very important, very important. So think about your own behavior. You know, you go, why, why am I not consistent with, you know, doing a certain thing? Because maybe you're trying to be something that you're not or someone that you're not. And then he also said, when heaven knows um, your name, you know your spiritual identity, you make an impact, right? Because you have clarity. You have clarity on what we, you truly are created here for. And when you have clarity, it's easy. Everything else starts to flow in line and you stay in your own race. When you forget your identity, you find significance in something else. So everything becomes a shiny object. Oh, it's good over here. Oh, come over here. Oh, do this and whatever. You just start saying yes to everything that you're invited to, everything that everybody else thinks you should be doing because you have no clarity. But when you know heaven knows your name and you know you were called for something specific, you will be. it's easier for you to say, nope, that doesn't line up. Nope, that's not what God is saying I should be doing right now. And you stay the course. And then he did a, he made a quote by Mike Murdoch that says, Envy is proof that you have not embraced your own distinctions. Isn't that important? Envy is proof that you have not embraced your own distinctions. Because, you know, I'm distinct. There's something about me that is unique about me. There's something about you that is unique about you. And then when you become envious and you start comparing, all of a sudden you're over here and because you haven't embraced who you are, you haven't embraced your full self in the way that God has made you, in the way that God has purposed for you. Okay, and it says, um, um, 
I, well, like, I just lost my train of thought. But anyway, so it allows you to crush that lack mentality and it helps you in time of temptation. So let's talk about right now, like what is with everything that's happening and the enemy is trying to tempt us into act a certain way, um, believe a certain thing or whatever. When you know what heaven is saying to you, when you know what the, what the Lord is speaking to you, you stay the course. You stay the course and you're able to tell the enemy, nope, nope, nope. That's not that's not me. That's not what the, what the Lord says about me. And you're able to boldly pray pray the prayers to denounce things that He's saying to tell Him to get lost. And you're gonna stay on that course. So be encouraged, friends. Um, have a fantastic weekend. Don't forget to celebrate you, and we're celebrating you. And we'll see you on the next video.